Good morning. This is a morning prayer for September 13th through September 17th with First Grantham United Church. And we start with a responsive reading from Psalm 1. Happiness can't be captured. Like a wild bird or a bouncing ball, it's always just beyond our grasp. It is not found in fads or fashions, nor in climbing to the top of the heap. Happiness comes from immersing yourself in God. Instead of struggling to stay on top, yield yourself to the deep flow of God's universe. You will not drown. You will be swept along by forces beyond your imagination. Foam on the surface blows about. Driftwood piles up on sandbars. People obsess with themselves end up as debris on the rocks, but the current rolls on. To find happiness, let yourself be carried away by something stronger than a social eddy. Our scripture lesson today comes from Mark chapter 9, verses 34 to 37, and it's from the message. And so I'll read it three times. After a brief silence, just listen the first time. The second time, <coughs> excuse me, choose a word or a phrase. And then the third time, use that word or phrase to take you deeper into prayer. The disciples had been arguing with one another over who among them was greatest. Jesus sat down and summoned the twelve. So you want first place? Then take last place, be the servant of all. He put a child in the middle of the room, and then cradling the little one in his arms, he said, whoever embraces one of these children, as I do, embraces me. And far more than me, God who sent me. The disciples had been arguing with one another over who among them was greatest. And Jesus sat down and summoned the twelve. So you want to be first? Then take last place. Be the servant of all. He put a child in the middle of the room, and then cradling the little one in his arms, he said, Whoever embraces one of these children, as I do, embraces me. And far more than me, God who sent me. The disciples had been arguing with one another over who among them was greatest. Jesus sat down and summoned the twelve. So you want to be first? Then take last place. Be the servant of all. He put a child in the middle of the room, and then cradling the little one in his arms, he said, Whoever embraces one of these children, as I do, embraces me. And far more than me, God who sent me. So now let's pray together in a responsive prayer, and there'll be a time of silence for you to lift up your own prayers. Oh God, it's hard, uh, it is a hard lesson to learn. We so often think happiness depends on things, status, and importance. Help us to hear what you are saying to us today. Help us to open ourselves to life and to each other as children are open. Help us to treat each other and all those we meet with the respect and dignity every person deserves. Oh God, as always, we pray not just for ourselves. We pray for our world, where so many seem to work from violence and self-importance, forgetting or ignoring respect and dignity. We pray for our own friends and families and for all those who have asked for our prayers. Hear us as we bring them all to you now. Hear our prayers, O God, and in your love, answer. And our closing prayer today we'll read together. God, your love has brought us here. By your love, send us forth. May your love be active in us as we wake or sleep, work or rest, serve or wait. We follow in faith. Amen.